Hi, I'm Star and we're on Scarred TV. So when did you start painting? I was painting basically, I was painting like Michael Jackson and Nick Kershaw portraits when I was about five. I was ex exhibiting professionally by 25 in, 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 in the Red, with the Red Hill Gallery, it was the first gallery that signed me. So around 25 was my first solo, yep. Excellent. And what artists inspire you? Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so I think my work and the artists that inspire, that inspire me greatly, um, I would say Monet, Andy Warhol and Picasso, stick it in a blender and then you come up with me. And I just basically paint people to that inspire me. I paint beautiful girls and I just love my rock, painting rock stars, I admit it. <laughs> Who was the very first rock star that used your artwork? Phil Lewis from LA Guns, yeah. That was pretty exciting. Sweet. Yeah, he's cute too. Tommy Lee's got my work hanging in his house. Um, let me see, Phil Lewis has got lots. Um, and it just, um, see when, when you're an artist and you're selling lots of galleries, unfortunately for me, I never actually know who actually buys the work. Have you done a bit of traveling with your artwork? Absolutely. My favorite places on the planet to paint is I love Hollywood. Absolutely love Hollywood. I love rock and roll. I love walking up the Sunset Strip. I love all the neon lights. Vegas has had a massive impact on me. I exhibit in lots of those cities as well, Hollywood and Vegas. And um, but my favorite city by far is Paris. I just absolutely fell in love with it. And I painted a big Paris exhibition and I went to the Moulin Rouge and the Nouvelle Eve and um, had lots and lots of, um, I painted lots of can-can dances from, that, from, from those clubs. And have you had any crazy experiences abroad or any experiences at home here with your artwork? Um, I think the most exciting one was um, going backstage in Paris at a um, at the Nouvelle Eve and having all the can can dancers there just willing to pose for me. I think that was the most extraordinary thing. Do you, do you use a lot of um, live models for your artwork? Oh, absolutely! All my all my nudes and a lot of my figurative work it's all worked up from models. I I would love to say it all comes out of my head, but no, I actually use live models. So do you use a model for Alice? Yes, I have one particular model for Alice and hopefully my Alice in Wonderland series will continue over the next five or six years and I will add more paintings to the series. But the girl I actually found, she actually lives around the corner, luckily me. She's a daughter of a friend. Um, so, so very exciting because she's just perfectly Alice. She was actually Alice in a, in a, in, in a, in a campaign and that's when I first saw her and I thought that's the model. Yeah. She's my Alice too. <laughs> <laughs> so I got her. Do you have any advice for any upcoming artists? Um, just absolutely follow your dream and your passion and if it's your true calling you will know it and it'll be inevitable that you'll end up an artist. <laughs>